living in town sometimes brings me down Let me bestow this western blessing and share what I have found May you always have cows around Alright, so Here's you guys a daylight look at the cows It's uh, Sunday, December 9th uh, The reason there was no shout out Saturday, yesterday Because I try to post them on Saturday or Sunday But uh I'm going to record it today while I'm here, but yesterday was my birthday, and uh, I was out here, I bought something I mentioned in last shout out Saturday video, I had to pick that up yesterday, and we went out for my birthday and stuff, so I didn't get any videos recorded, and I just felt like being a bum, but today, our agenda is to work out here in the cow barn, because it is a disaster, inside, and outside i got gates everywhere I got hay feeders everywhere junk trash you name it it needs cleaned up so that's today's agenda while well, it's daylight and uh let me show you guys what i got done up here just working for like half an hour after work every day i got uh these cattle panels up some posts pounded in I'm trying to find some longer posts these posts are six foot and the posts that I have out there I think are only five foot but I want some heavier duty posts here so I got these in they're I mean they're not the straightest panels and it's hard to stretch them by yourself to get any bows out of them so we're just gonna tie them up to them posts and it is what it is but this gives you a daylight view of what I was talking about now I was thinking, I got two rolls of this wire, and it might be enough to go all the way around my little paddock here, but then I'd have to put two strands of barbed wire or something up. I don't know if I want to do that. But basically, what I was talking about right here is going to be a 10-foot gate, and then right up in here is going to be my working pen, and then my cattle little lot will come out to here. And I might, I don't know. I don't know if I'll take it back flush. Yeah, I'll take it back flush against the back of the barn there. I just have to get measurements. So that way I know everything. I got to go 16 foot out and I got to come out. Let's see. What is it? 30. That would be 36. No, 32. And 48 feet. I got to come out 48 foot from there. And figure out my angle where I got to put my corner post here. So, and then I can get them put in and uh, get the rest of this up but the ground's frozen now so I don't know I'll have to take the excavator and break it up and then before I get this going another thing I'm doing is uh, I'm in the process of it it was it came to my attention yesterday that it needed done and it needs done now um, let me show you what it is see that there's no water in there okay I've been hauling water out here with a five gallon bucket and they can drink it as fast as I dump it out here so I bring four buckets out and they drink that and that's about all I can get in a day so I need to put in a water spigot and I'm gonna put a water spigot in like right here and I'm gonna get a hose that I can drape in over there and then if I ever move my water tub outside I can do that right here because eventually I might put in fence line feeding right here when these guys get bigger I don't necessarily want to feed them in this barn to where they can you know rough house and start sending each other through the wall but I might feed them out here on you know nice dry days or whatever put in a bunk and if I have to I can feed them in there or I can make me a roof over this I don't know this is all kind of temporary because when I get my own farm it'll all be moving out there or if I buy this place who knows um, I'm, I'm building it semi-permanent we'll say everything's gonna be removable that's why I went with this style building it can be removable it can be repaired fairly easy and everything so um, one thing dad doesn't like is the location of it because the wind blows this way and there's the house so but we're gonna keep it clean that's the reason for doing this I can get a gate put in where I can come in here with a tractor or whatever and uh, 
clean it out. I need to find me a nice little tractor or a little skid steer to clean this out. Because with five cows, it'll get full pretty quick. And the 2010 doesn't fit in there. The H would probably fit in there if I put the loader on it. We might have to work on that. Might have to do some measuring and stuff to see if the H will work. You know, just enough to scrape it out. But that's a little bit what's going on. Some plans that, you know, need to get going. I mean, look at that. The posts are straight, but the, the fence kind of bothers me. But I got to get all this cleaned up. I'm tired of tripping over everything, and it's just a mess. So... We'll do this video cleaning this up and then uh, I'll do the shout out Saturday video after this and uh, what I bought. So anyways, let's get this going and uh, I don't know if I'll record anything while I'm doing it, but I'll show you stuff as it gets done. So stay tuned. All right, so I got the inside cleaned. Looks very different. Are you guys zoomed in? No. We got my shelf somewhat organized. I got a... Oh, hey, little guy. He used to roost up there, and I was just going to say, I got to have him quit roosting up there, and he's roosting right here. So, as long as you roost down there, I don't care. You roost up here, you crap on everything. But I got my shelf somewhat organized. I got feed buckets and stuff up there from, you know, when I had all the kid and pens for the goats set up. Uh, here's my vet shelf. Got the cattle box and the goat box. Random stuff crate that I used to weigh baby goats in and my goat uh, nipple bottle and their nipple box bucket thing and, um, salt block tub and some more things and then uh, here I got a whip and a hook and a couple paddles and sorting sticks and my manure fork and and there's all the little uh, rods that connect my kitten pins together and then the red and green tub have uh, like halters and stuff in them, and that tub's got that other tub's got feed sacks in it. Here's my straw chopper that's kind of a hunk of junk, but for twenty five dollars you couldn't beat it. The motor needs uh, some work, so it'll start every time. You can pull and pull and pull and pull, but it won't start without starting fluid. So um, it's a Amish Mennonite thing and they're not easy on equipment so it's pretty much wore out um then i got my straw and the hay and the feed and the cows so <clears throat> i gotta take and right there and right there and right there and there and over there i got hooks in the wall that my Kid and pins hooked too. I need to take those out. So, oh man, got hit with the tire all of a sudden. Got to take those out so the cows don't hurt themselves on them. I don't have, don't plan on using them pins for a while. They won't keep any cows this size in. They're really good for bottle calves though. I mean, this would be a great bottle calf barn. If any of you uh, when I get into doing bottle calves or something and looking for a great building, one of these carports would be great, I think. Uh, the way I got this one set up, I had four pins down the side, on each side, and you could put some in the middle if you wanted to, and you could have, uh, let's see, 12 calves in here, and then when they get bigger, you could pull them out and have group calving, a little group set up, and then you can keep all your feed in here. So... Here I got my scale monitor, but my scale's in the barn. It needs fixed. My mice got a hold of it. But I only really use that for goats. It won't really work for cattle. Oh, man, where'd this tired come from all of a sudden? Um, I would like to get a scale that would handle these because I'm thinking about raiding them, raid, raising them up to like five, 600 pounds and selling them. And, uh, Maybe getting some more little calves and feeding them up that big. I don't think I want to fatten them out. But who knows? We'll see when that time comes. It'll be a while before they get up to 500 pounds anyways. But it'd be nice to have a scale to run them through as part of my working system out there. I got a generator I could work up and uh, 
plug into but I'm probably going to be running power out here and I'll probably put the box right here and then run me a cord down to that end man oh tired's coming from somewhere oh excuse me and I can plug in a uh heater and then uh put some lights in here or whatever just a little three breaker electrical box or something with an outlet here but then I could run power out there or whatever. Because as I run water, I figure I might as well run a power cord out here. Now I just got to clean the outside up. This goat thing's got to go. That goat thing's got to go. This gate's got to come inside. Those are trash barrels. Oh, man. I'm not even tired. It's just hitting me. This stuff's got to go to the barn. But it's getting a little chilly out because it's getting dark. But... That'll be it, probably, for the uh, cow barn cleaning. As I clean up the outside, I'll take a little bit of a video, but when it gets dark, I don't know how long I'll stay out here. So, if I don't record anymore, thanks for watching, and catch you guys on the next one. Oh, man. You can't roost up there, chicken. You gotta stay down here. He's trying to roost up top. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one if I don't add any more to this.